we know everything about Lee Harvey Oswald. It, yeah, he we don't killed know the anything president, about you Jeff. idiot. He's, he didn't like ruin a wrestling match. Well, you psychopath. Uh, Brian, Brian and Vinny, along with Granny and Craig, and sometimes other people. Wrestling, tell me who and what's Mark is here today. Robust yeah. What's going on? You're going through a midlife crisis, you know. Yeah. I thought the women's match was better than the men's. Really? Yeah. What? what? Really? You guys all thought the men's Royal Rumble match was better than the women's? I thought the men's Rumble match was the best thing on the show. Yeah. The best thing on the show? Yeah. Wow. I, I did not think that at all. I agree with Vince on this. Well, <laughs> that's all fine. You all get an opinion, even if it's incorrect. I thought the women all had punch cards, and they were supposed to blow a spot, and they could uh, get their card punched. Well, Each one of yeah. them blew a spot every time they came in. Well, the first news is right at the very beginning, the number two entrant is Naomi, and she is followed shortly thereafter by the reigning TNA Knockouts champion, Jordan Grace. There is a relationship, yeah. which I have been told even prior to this, of some sort. Yes. Lelina Vega is married to Alistair Black. This is something I've been doing all night. Mark knows <laughs> nothing uh, about pro wrestling <laughs> except no, who was married to who. Show. You know who Becky's married to? Yes, Seth Rollins. Exactly. They have a child named Very Rue. Good. Very good. First wow. name, Kanga. Oh, stop. You're <laughs> so <laughs> fuck off. That's a, a Vinny, that is not funny. Terrible that person. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> In L.A., riots for a while. Vinny just... rallied? It was a joke about L.A. riots. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Some rando idiot jumps a rail. Jeff in a white tee. This is the same guy that helped Logan Paul beat Ray. This would be like if, you know... Nobody remember the name Lee Harvey Oswald. It's just Lee. You know? Oh, you don't know. Uh, just some guy named Lee. You don't follow up. You don't in investigate or anything like that. It's really odd that you're comparing Jeff in a white tee to a guy who assassinated well, a that president. Was, that was just something you that popped into my mind. fucking psychopath. Uh, like, we it know everything about Lee Harvey Oswald. It yeah, he we don't killed know the anything president, about you Jeff. idiot. He's, he didn't like ruin a wrestling match. Well, in Saudi it's a Arabia. bad. You goddamn I admit asshole. It's a bad what in the analogy, fuck are you talking but about? But the point stands. We should know more about this Jeff guy. The reason you brought up JFK is because we brought it up on the Granny Show, where we found out that Granny was actually in the bathroom when yeah. JFK was killed. She was urinating when he was killed. We didn't even get Craig's thoughts. No, I was going to talk about I Granny was, peeing. I was. I'm super impressed with Logan Paul. Like, I'm not really trying to eat an apple that's been pressed up against my dick. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I don't he know. washed himself first. If you wash yourself, you can eat an apple off your dick, is what Brian is saying to us. Huh. No, what I'm, what I'm saying is if, if I had to, I would wash myself first. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know he's got to warm up back there, so is he warming up no, and then taking a fucking shower, it's asshole? It's overrated. It's the weirdest Ask version Gene of Will. LaBelle. This is the weirdest you ever, version of You ever seen a leopard well. warm up before it chases its prey? Oh, here comes some prey. I'm going to do some stretching. the fuck no, he up, he just starts Brian. running. <laughs> no. I hope Punk didn't get hurt here because he took a future shock DDT, and man, this dude grabbed his triceps, and he went mm -hmm. down, and he went right over to that referee in the corner, and they had a long conversation. And there is no, we're going to build it up or whatever. As soon as the match ended, Cody pointed to the sign, climbed up under the turnbuckle. He pointed at Roman Reigns, and he said, I'm choosing you. He ain't losing two years in a row. Thanks, Mark. You want to do a plug? No. What do you got coming up? I have nothing. What happened to your podcast? I don't know. Lisa Gifford is joining us here again today. We love professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is fucking awesome, and we love it. And this cunt has taken it and made it into something disgusting and dirty. And people outside the industry are now looking at us and thinking this is what professional wrestling is. Do I think for one second... That Triple H, for example, didn't know that Vince had other women or maybe, you know, hey, did you hear that, uh, you know, Vince was in the office late last night? I don't believe for a second, okay, that he didn't know stuff like that and probably many others as well. But the degree of what Vince was doing and John Laurinaitis was doing, I don't think a lot of people had any idea the extent of any of this. And I was told very nudge nudge by um, a wrestler who worked for WWE. Oh, well, you know, if you go over there, never be alone with Vince. And it's like, well, you hear that about guys and it's just, OK, whatever. None of us could have known 
I think, what was going on. A great atrocity will be committed, and people will say, I never thought so-and-so would be involved in anything like this. So-and-so is the last person who would ever commit that kind of thing. Um, if there's one person who's going to do this, it sounds like Vincent Kennedy, my man. This was initially announced as an elimination cage match. They changed it to a escape the cage rules. Okay, who didn't want to do a job? Like something had to come up here. But the actual wrestling from everybody involved, they were all great. Limerick about Cody finishing or not finishing his story. There once was a nightmare named Cody Rhodes. Already you've screwed up the cadence. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Should be there once was a nightmare named Cody. Whose music makes sure the crowd always explodes. No, do another one. Last year he failed. Stop. No. <laughs> Mini? Brian, what's my only goal every time you and I are on the show together? To entertain myself. God. So. You're entertained by this? <laughs> I'm entertained by you reacting Being to mad? Yes. I hate you. Last year he failed to finish his story, and this year almost left him in the same category. Are you happy now? I'm ecstatic. This is the best I felt all day. You're an idiot. That was horrible. Granny, it's your turn. I won't even I won't even accept another one. Wow. God. I wanna give my report on Royal Rumble. The woman's match was so boring. How can those people let Bailey win? Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Wow, someone's not a hugger. You heard that Cody beat Roman in the Royal Rumble? Yeah. Where did you get your information, Granny? The it internet? Was, you can't says, trust anything on the internet, Granny, unless it comes from WrestlingObserver.com. And we talk all the time about how matches look like a video game match. This looked like a video game match between two characters from two totally different games. But apparently Moxley showed up at the building, and that dude was hurting. All right. Like he threw his back out, I don't know how... You can see the moves where he probably was second-guessing his life choices. Their rankings have come out, right. which we're going to try not to talk about on this show. Swerve is ranked number one, and Hangman is ranked number two. Swerve, he gave 80% of the match to Rob Van Dam. Hangman might have given 90% of the match to Toa Leona. He couldn't even beat the guy with his finish. Right. So when it was over, like, as a fan, you're kind of looking at it going... Well, none of these guys are that good. Yes. That guy could barely beat Toa Leona, and Swerve could barely beat a part-timer who's 53. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson arrive. Hey, guess what they didn't have this week? Uh, I don't recall seeing any mustaches. No mustaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've grown goatees. Yes. So Wardlow uh, tweeted that his knee was fine. Good. But, I mean, when he went backstage, it did not appear to be fine. Bad. They thought last night he might have torn his MCL but they believe it's not a catastrophic injury or anything like that. But he did definitely get hurt. If you don't think your comedy is funny and you don't want to see comedy during a wrestling show, you're going to think the whole thing sucks. Because every segment that she is even tangentially involved in, the focus is on her and her comedy. I don't remember anything about this match because everything was all about Tony. Yeah. So uh, this was the Rob Van Dam showcase. He can still be Rob Van Dam. Because let me tell you something, this guy was tired. A lot of times people chant, you still got it, yeah. and they're just being nice. And a lot of these chants, I'm like, eh, whatever. But goddamn, this guy still got it. The build for this pay-per-view is tremendous, or at least, at least the build for big matches. But as a week-to-week -week show, it is not as good. Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes versus Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro. This match was great. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Trick Williams. That's a great name. Yeah. I don't know what I thought when I first heard it. But it's worked out great. The whoop that trick chance, the trick knee. This guy's going to be a big fucking star, dude. So Andre Chase, Duke Hudson, and Riley Osborne go to the ring. The crowd is singing the goodbye song, mourning the impact Chase you had in the NXT universe. And for a while now, Shawn Michaels has been stealing the best parts of his own career Yeah. to use in NXT storylines. Here, for Chase you, a fake school breaking up. Yeah. This is where he broke out, tell me a lie. Yes, I am flabbergasted at the number of people who have no memory whatsoever of tell me a lie. Huh? 
We are ancient. We're very old. We are fucking ancient. Everybody figured it must be some OnlyFans gimmick. Yes. She got all the women of Chase U to open up OnlyFans accounts. They all made a bunch of money. They're paying it back. No. Her plan, a 28-year-old's plan in 2024 is, well, let's make a calendar. Yeah. That's when I knew Sean was right in this show. <laughs> We're supposed to believe that he's like the, a, an ingenious giant who plays dumb. Yes. Well, then they do the match, and he's just dumb. Just a dumb kid, man. They fucking, they're explaining that he doesn't know the rules. He doesn't know there's rounds no. in a Heritage Cup match? Yeah. What the fuck were they doing for these weeks training? Don't know. They made him Playing look, football, apparently. They made him look so stupid. And then he got beat. He was pinned twice and beaten. Yeah. In front of the children. Yeah. In front of all of these people. I was like, what? <laughs> I was angry. And then Gacy climbs out of the dumpster. He's all smiling and happy. He's got garbage in his mouth. He goes, I'm all in for, for Sunday. And I thought, that's supposed to make me want to see a no DQ match. <laughs> yes. You, you, you killed him, but he was not killed. And he's laughing about it. <laughs> I'm going to part with my money? Well, <laughs> no, you're talking. I am not. <laughs> No, I'm canceling Peacock. And they got the perfect shot. It's looking over Ilya's shoulder. So we see Trick's face. We see Mello's face. In the background, we see the wolf dog saying, oh, this is good news. And uh, yeah, the whole thing is that part was just great. Great stuff. There's one angle in two matches. And the build for those has been great. 